Pop quiz. A 40-year-old woman presents with heavy menstrual bleeding, dysmenorrhea, and a uniformly enlarged uterus. A 30-year-old woman presents with heavy menstrual bleeding, an irregularly enlarged uterus, and chronic constipation. A 60-year-old lady spots you in the cereal aisle at the grocery store, pulls you aside, and furtively asks you about postmenopausal bleeding as she pretends to browse the Malta meal selections. Don't worry if you're not prepared for these scenarios, especially that third one. We're going to break down abnormal uterine bleeding into just a few important pathologies that you should keep in mind for the exam. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does an eerie hand fountain have to do with all this? And is that blood? Why, yes it is. These coins in a POM should remind you of the acronym POMCOIN. POMCOIN is used to organize the causes of abnormal uterine bleeding into structural, that is, physical lesions, and non-structural causes. Structural causes are the POM, polyps, adenomyosis, leiomyoma, malignancy, and hyperplasia. These are the disorders that will be highlighted in this sketch, as well as endometriosis, which causes pain instead of bleeding, but we'll get into that. But first, a brief aside concerning the non-structural causes of abnormal uterine bleeding. These are the COIN part of the acronym. Coagulopathy, ovulatory, endometrial, iatrogenic, and not otherwise specified. <laughs> 